After years of costly research, Westinghouse's big chance to show the complex polyphase system and AC power in action would come during the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago. But Thomas Edison would not make it easy for them. The 1893 Chicago World's Fair, known as the Columbian Exposition, was set to commemorate the 400th anniversary of Columbus discovering the New World. It was to be the biggest, grandest, most spectacular World's Fair ever. It would be quite the party and prove to be an interesting event in the life of George Westinghouse. It would also be ground zero for the Battle of the Currents. On May 23, 1892, as the immense fairgrounds were being constructed on the shore of Lake Michigan, the Westinghouse Electric Company won the lighting contract for the World's Fair. You have to remember how people lived at the time. They lived in darkness. We don't live in darkness at all. Even if you go outside at night, it's, there's light. And whoever wins this bid, if it's going to be Edison or if it's going to be Westinghouse, it's going to mean a great deal because people are going to come to the fair, they're going to see light at night. They're going to be able to extend the day. The story is that the exposition company saved about a half a million dollars by going with Westinghouse Electric over General Electric. This loss to Westinghouse was unexpected. Thomas Edison had counted on his name and strong patents to guarantee the contract and plan to make a profit at the fair. Westinghouse, on the other hand, would make a risky move by going into it expecting to lose money in order to gain promotion. A gamble that could sink the entire company because of the time and money that went into the polyphase development, leaving the Westinghouse Electric Company in a weakened state to survive the financial crisis of 1893. Uh, Edison at the time represented General Electric, but he had already been bought out. And, and, and that battle was a vicious one. Westinghouse finally undercut and won it. George Westinghouse told his managers, the work must be done right regardless of cost. He said that any loss could be charged to advertising, and that was the main objective. 